What's going on YouTube? So after the last video, I had a couple of guys from the Smoking Meats Forum, SMF, uh, take a look at it for me. Uh, they did make me aware that I used quite a few acronyms in there. Um, this channel is geared more towards novices, so I need to go ahead and uh, tone that down a little bit for you. I will try. <laughs> I am in the technology industry acronyms are all over the place. I use them all day long. So if I use one that uh, you're not familiar with, hit me up down below. I'll clarify as best I can. If I can't give you a good explanation of what it is, I'll point you in the right direction. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over uh, acronyms that I've already used, popular ones that you're going to wind up seeing in your smoking adventures. Uh, different smoker types, different types of wood that'll be used for smoking as well. Um, we won't get into meats in this one. Uh, probably do that just as we're cooking. Uh, so yeah, uh, I am going to go ahead and get set up in a different location. So uh, sit tight and I'll be with you in a few minutes. Okay, so out of the work duds got set up in a different location, so let's get to it, shall we? A um, couple of the acronyms that I'm going to throw at you this time are just your basic, basic entry level ones. As we get deeper into this, as I do more research, as you do more research, you're going to learn more and more of these acronyms and they're just going to wind up becoming second nature. Uh, first acronym that I've seen thrown around a lot on uh, Smoking Meats Forum is SPOG. So that's salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, okay? That's your basic, basic rub. You can tweak the, the ratios of those depending on what flavor profile you're going for, what your personal tastes are. Um, you can add stuff to it. You can take one of those items away. Um, you can just go with salt and pepper on most of your meats, like your briskets and whatnot do really, really well just with salt and pepper. But we'll cover that more as we, we go uh, deeper into our adventures together. That's the main one I wanted to cover in this one. The one that I used in the last video that's prompting this one uh, is UDS. We'll cover that when we get into the, when we get deeper into the different types of smokers. So before we get into smokers, I want to just cover real quickly the different types of woods, okay? So you're going to have sp uh, sticks, you're going to have chunks, you're going to have chips, you're going to have pellets. Those are your main ones. Then obviously for, for your wood smokers, you're going to have just wood, okay? Regular pieces of wood like you'd put in a fireplace is what you're going to put in that type of smoker. Chips are just that. Most of the time they have been just run through a wood chipper to create those chips, collected, packaged, sold. Okay. Pellets are compressed wood in pellet form. So it's more sawdust that's been compressed. Those are meant for specific type of smokers, specific type of smoking apparatus, which we'll also cover. Chunks are just logs that have been cut up into chunks that are probably uh, two to three inches in size. Uh, those are good for pretty much any type of smoker with the exception of pellet smokers. Pellet smokers are designed just for to be used with those pellets. Okay, and we'll get into that a little bit deeper here in just a minute. Uh, when I get my chunks, because that's what I'm going to be using in my smoker, I'll show you what those look like if you haven't figured that out already on your own. All right, so let's get into smokers. So your entry level smoker, uh, what a lot of guys really start out on, are going to be your electric smokers. Now those come in uh, bullet smokers or cabinet smokers, and I'll try and put a picture up over here for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, these are electric. Uh, you got to plug them into an outlet for them to work. They will have a uh, chip pan because you're going to use chips in these, right? Can't Not saying you can't use chunks, but it's not going to work very well. <laughs> uh, so they'll have a chip pan 
uh, above that chip pan, they're gonna have a water pan. That water pan's gonna help you regulate your temperature to make that temperature more consistent. Uh, it's also gonna introduce moisture in there so that your meat doesn't dry out. Uh, at the bottom of these electric uh, smokers, you're gonna have a, a heating element, uh, just like what you'd find on top of your stove. Uh, same type, same concept. Not gonna look exactly the same, but the same concept. Uh, second type of smoker, uh, staying away from the wood side of it for right now, second type of smoker is going to be your propane or your gas smoker. Um, these are also cabinets, they can also be bullet type smokers. Uh, the heat source is different, obviously they're propane, they're gas, they've got a burner down at the bottom. Same basic setup though, so you're going to have your burner you're gonna have your chip pan, you're gonna have your water pan, then your cooking chamber. Next type of smoker is gonna be your charcoal smoker. This is where Weber comes in. Their kettle grill is a multitasker. You can use your kettle grill for grilling, but you can also use it for smoking. And I'm not just talking short-term smokes as well. I'm, you can do a brisket, a 12, 14, 18 hour brisket on that uh, Weber kettle that you've got sitting on your back deck. Uh, it all depends on how you set it up uh, and how much you want to attend it and watch it. Okay, We'll get into that if I purchase a Weber kettle, which I'm toying with the idea, um, just because I do want something that's a, a multitasker as well as my UDS. Uh, so my UDS the ugly drum smoker, also known as an upright drum smoker, is another form of charcoal smoker because it's going to have its fire basket down in the bottom of the barrel. That's where your heat source is going to be. You're going to put your chunks right into that uh, basket. It's going to have air intakes off the side of it, an exhaust tack off of the, the top of it. We'll do a full tour on, on Monday or possibly Tuesday. I'm picking her up on Sunday. Yeah, excited about that one. So your charcoal smokers. Some offsets can be considered charcoal smokers because you don't have to use all wood. Offsets are the smokers that we all think about when we think about smoking before we really get into it and, and really see that there's more than just one type of smoker out there. Also, in the charcoal category, that's where your Big Green Egg, your Kamado Joes, that's where they'll fall. They're also multitaskers because uh, you can do regular straight up grilling on those. You can also set them up for smoking by putting a diffuser plate in there to help keep the heat uh, dispersed and to help the smoke go through the whole chamber. Uh, my buddy, the one that's building me, uh, my drum smoker, has a Kamado Joe. That thing is a workhorse, and he puts off some really, really good food off of that. Pellet smokers, they're gonna have a hopper on the side of the cook chamber. That's where you're gonna put all of your pellets, okay? These hoppers will range in capacity from five pounds up to 25 pounds. Just depends on the, the model of smoker that you get, how much uh, you wanna spend on the upfront side of it to get a pellet smoker. In the bottom of that hopper is gonna be an auger. That auger is gonna feed those pellets into a burn chamber, which is where the element is, uh, one element uh, is on a pellet smoker. That's gonna heat up your, your pellets so they can bust and produce the smoke. Also, offset smokers can be wood smokers, right? You're just gonna build a fire in that firebox and use that to produce your smoke. We've all been on a camping trip before, right? That smoke is phenomenal, right? But that's not the type of smoke you wanna cook with, so you do need to pay attention to it to make sure you get that thin blue smoke, right? That's what we're looking for when we cook. We don't want that heavy, white, billowy smoke, because that stuff will tend to build up and create soot on your food and that will that's not a good taste right now we don't like eating charcoal we want to use it to cook you can use your gas grill to smoke 
Uh, we've all seen them at Home Depot, at Lowe's, at Walmart. They're the smoker boxes, right? The aluminum or cast iron boxes. You put on the grates, you put your wood chips in there, and poof, it smokes, right? Um, I had one of those, didn't have the best luck with it. Um, but the guys on Smoking Meats Forum, they all absolutely rave about the Amazin Smoker. That's A-Maze-N Smoker. Uh, comes in two different forms. One is an actual maze. It goes back and forth, back and forth. You fill that up with wood chips, you light one end of it, and it kind of smokes the whole way around, uh, inducing smoke into your food. Um, it also comes in a tube form as well. I'll post links down below and maybe a picture or two up. So on that note, I am going to go and pick up my smoker on Sunday. Hopefully have you guys for a walk around on it Monday or Tuesday. Monday there's a good chance of rain, so I might need to hold off a little bit on that. Uh, so I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.